What's up, y'all? This is Seth Nitty from Wave Runners. I'm a producer from out of Philly. I'm teaming up today with Reason to show y'all how to create the modern trap style beat inside of Reason 12. So stay tuned in, like and share this video, and let's get into it. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be showing you the basics on how to create the modern trap beat. And what makes it trap is basically the 808s and the way that you place your hi-hats and your snares. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is you wanna come up with a nice melody. And for that, we're gonna use Glaciers by DNA Labs, and we're gonna add the scales and chords to this. Now we're gonna set the scales and chords to D flat minor, open the chords up, octave up and an octave down. Now we got it on D flat minor, but we're gonna actually start the melody off in C sharp, because it's basically the same, same notes. All right, so before I make my melodies, I like to EQ while I'm working, so I like to cut the lows out before I even start, just to leave room for my 808 once I bring that in. All right, so let's go down here. We got the BPM set to 123. Let's cut the metronome on and go back in scales and chords and make sure the direct record button is on. All right, so let's hit record and just lay these chords down. Let's go in here and quantize this. And let's listen to this. All right, we're gonna move this note an octave up by hitting shift command and the arrow up. All right, so let's just go in here and change this to one eighth triplets. And let's take the razor tool and let's go in here and just cut this melody up. You know, just to give it, give it some movement. All right, so now what we're going to do, we're going to hold shift. I'm on a max, so you hold shift, and we're going to select these, some of these notes, and we're going to move them up an octave. You know, just to give it some variation, you know, some dynamics. So once we select all the notes that we want to move, we're just going to hold shift, command, and the up arrow, and we're just going to move it up to a higher octave. All right, so let's go up here into the effects section and uh, let's add some effects to this. Let's just use the sweeper. And then we're gonna change this to crotchet step filter. Oh, that's kind of like a halftime a little bit. Let's go down here and uh, set this velocity. Let's turn it up a little bit. Let's turn it up and then hit F8, open the tool window, and let's randomize it. All right, so we got the melody down and we're gonna move on to the hi-hats. 
and I'm gonna take a hi-hat from out of my wave runners bundle and put it inside the NN19. And I use the NN19 because I like the pitch shift inside of the piano roll. So we're gonna reset the NN19 and we're gonna drag the hi-hat sample inside. So I'm gonna turn the polyphony down to one and turn the range down to zero. And I'm gonna go into the velocity section and I'm gonna turn the amp. Now, by turning the amp, once I go on the piano roll, I'm able to, you know, adjust the velocity on each note. All right, so now sometimes when I start my hi-hats, I like to start off with like a one-eighth triplet, and then I might change it to a one-thirty-two. So I'm going to do the first three hi-hats in one-eighth triplet, and then I'm going to switch it to one-thirty-two, you know, just to give it a unique sound and get the hi-hats rolling. You, you know, you just want to make it sound interesting. And now we can change it back to uh, one-eighth triplets and then just finish the rest of the hi-hats. All right, now I can go down here and uh, adjust the velocity on these notes. All right, so now we're going to go down here, add a new lane, and we're going to put some claps in there. And when you're doing this percussion, you want to make sure you take the low end out of these uh, sounds, you know, just to make room for the 808 once it come in. All right, so now that we got that down, we're just gonna add like some like some counter snares. So we're gonna add a new lane. We're gonna select all the blocks, press edit, and we're gonna go into the ghost notes. Now I like to use the ghost notes because I like to see exactly where I'm placing these notes at. So, you know, my sounds won't be clashing because that's the way, that's my preference. So in between these hi-hats where I left the space open, I'm gonna just fill that in with, with the counter snares. All right, now right here, let's change this to 164 and let's do like a long snare roll. You know, just to give it some variation. Switch it up a little bit. All right, let's go down here and like put a ramp on this velocity. And then we can switch this back to one eighth triplets and finish the rest of the pattern out. All right, so let's add some effects to these snare rolls. Let's use the, uh, the note echo. And then we can adjust these settings. Uh, and you could pause it if you want to use the exact same settings. You could just pause it and look at it. All right, so now that we got that down, we're just gonna add some open hi-hats and we're gonna do the 808s. So we're gonna put two new lanes down here. And after that, we can, you know, select all the blocks and go into the ghost notes. But this time you wanna make sure you select the melody too because you wanna use the ghost notes from the melody to make sure that you're putting the 808s on the right key. And over here on the left side, you can 
decide which lane you want to edit by pressing these, and it'll take you to each lane. So right now we on the open hi-hat, so we want to go to the open hi-hat lane, and we just want to lay some open hi-hats down. And we just basically just putting it on the same keys. We can keep the open hi hats pretty simple though. Let's move on to the eight oh eights. So we on C sharp, so you want to make sure the first hit is on C sharp. All right, so let's switch it up at the end. Let's change this to uh, back to 1-8 triplets. And we're just going to put three notes right here to give it like an 808 roll. Now that we got that down, I'm going to show you another little 808 trick. But this time we're going to use the wave file. So we're going to bring the wave file and drag it into the sequencer. And we're going to reverse it. We're going to move it right here. Let's open this up a little bit. And let's fade this in. Let's transpose this up three semitones and go back down here and hold option and time stretch it. But we're going to bring it in. We're not going to stretch it out. We're going to bring it in. So let's let's just add one or two more sounds. Let's just open up another glacius and uh, just find another sound. Then we're gonna add a new lane. You know how we do. Select all the blocks, press edit, go into the ghost notes. You know, just to make sure that we on key with everything. I just want to add some strings to this and this will be the last instrument because you know you don't want to put too much into this beat Just keep this the way it is we don't want to add too much to it if y'all enjoyed this video like it share it go over to my channel seth nitty subscribe follow me on instagram is seth nitty on all platforms big shout out to reason man for giving me this opportunity to make this video for y'all and uh yeah i'm out catch y'all on the next video